Hi, welcome. I'm Jeff Dixon, and I'm your host for this series entitled We Are at War, where we're looking at questions that are designed to get us to think specifically about spiritual warfare, understanding it just a little bit, pulling back what happens behind that veil that we can't see, yet impact all of our lives, especially if you're a follower of Jesus. The question that we're looking at is simply this, um, can a believer be possessed by a demon? We've talked in other uh, episodes of this series about um, Satan, how he works, and about demonic activity. But this is a popular thought uh, that has been um, pushed upon us by movies and television shows. Uh, in any type of show that deals with the occult, inevitably somebody's going to get possessed. And as a follower, if you sit and watch that, and maybe you shouldn't sit and watch it at all, but let's say as a follower you're sitting and watching it, you think to yourself, I wonder, can that happen to me? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe we should ask the people you live with, are you possessed or not? But that's a whole different series. Uh, but for this series, I could simply say that demons are actively involved in the world today. But the Bible, I believe, is very clear that Christians cannot be demon-possessed. So hear me carefully. If you are a Christian... If you're really a follower of Jesus Christ, biblically, I believe that you cannot be possessed. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 says this, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? Believers, according to God's word, are permanently indwelt by the Spirit of God. And in 1 John 4, 4, we read, You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. He who is in us is the Holy Spirit. It is God. He who is in the world is Satan and his demons. And the conclusion is clear. A demon is not able to enter and take control of a believer because the Holy Spirit is stronger than any demonic being, including Satan himself. Boom, drop the mic. It is that simple. Christians might be troubled by the devil. They might be tempted by the devil. They're probably even obsessed by the devil. And even at that, it's probably not the devil doing it. It's probably a demon doing it. But they're never possessed by him. That's not going to happen. And so if you're a follower of Jesus, take a deep breath. You cannot be possessed by a demon. Not because I told you that. Because that's what the Word says. And as I say, the Word don't lie. I look forward to joining you next time as we continue our look at We Are At War.